Uh, today we are uh, talking about the binary operation. What do you understand by binary operation? A binary operation is any rule of combination of any two elements of given non-empty sets. A binary operation is usually denoted by asterisk. That is what we use to denote a binary operation. And we have many properties of binary operation to let us understand deeply what they mean by binary operation. The first property in binary operation, we call this a closure property. What do you understand by closure property? A non-empty set, X, is said to be closed under a binary operation. This is a symbol for the operation, asterisk. It is surely, but we do use another uh, uh, format to represent. If for all A, B is an element of X, A operation B must be element of X before we can say that A and B is close to X. So that is the meaning of closure. So it's under the closure property. So now let's have a meaningful example in closure property. Is a, let's have an example one. An operation we represent by operation is defined on the set X. So what are the set of numbers inside the X? They have a zero, one, two, three, four, five. Now, these are the set of numbers inside the X. These are the operation given. He said, the operation given now is X operation Y is equal to X plus Y minus X, Y. Determine the closures of this. A, one, two. So, we are going to be using these operations to get the value of two operation five. Is zero operation four. 3 operation 1, 4 operation 5. So we are going to know the one that is close, the one that is not close. So let's determine solution. So let's determine maybe 2 operation 5 is close. So before you determine that 2 operation 5 is close, let's write out the operation given to us out. We are given x operation y. To have x plus y minus x y. So now, when we now talk is about two operation five, it means that x operation y. So anywhere you see x, it will represent two. Anywhere you see y, it will represent five. So therefore, two operation five will be two plus five minus. 2 times 5, which is equal to 7 minus 10. So, which gives us minus 3. So, telling us that... Now, before we now determine the operation, to know, maybe the minus 3 is among of the operation given from the value. So, therefore, now we have minus 3. Telling us that for the number 1, Two operation five is equal to minus three. It is not an element of x, so it is not close. You able to see the element of x start from zero to five, and the value that we got here is minus three. So our value here is minus three. So let's determine the two. The second part, which is zero operation. Four. So in the zero operation four, we also use the definitions of the operations, which is which will give you a zero plus four minus a zero times four. So this will give us four minus zero, which is equal to four, telling us that four is an element of x. Minus three is not an element. This is just a symbol. Minus 3, it is not an element of X. Therefore, this operation is not close. So, 
is zero operation four. Give our value got here is four. It means it is an element of S. So it is closed. So therefore, four is closed on four is closed to the X. That's just the meaning. Let's also check another answer, number three. Number two. So we have three operation one. You said three plus one. Therefore, minus 3 times 1, which is equal to 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. 1 is an element of x. So, since 1 is an element of x, automatically it is being closed. It is closed. So, let's now find the value of the number 4. Let's find here, for the 4 side, we have... 4 operation 5, it will be 4 plus 5 minus 4 times 5, which is equal to 9 minus 20, will give us minus 11. It is not an element of x. So since it is not an element of x, it's telling us that 4 operation 5 is not close to the uh, given set. The given set to us is start from 0 to 5. And the value that we we'll get from 4 operation 5 is minus 11. Therefore, minus 11, it is not close. So, let's try to find another example to know how we're able to solve a question relating to this. Example 2. Let E equal to an even integer. And let Operation be the operation. This sign be the operation. Define on E such that for every A, B is an element of E. Telling us that A operation B is equal to A plus B. Is E closed under the operation? What are they saying now? Is that solution? They let us to know that E is an even integer. For example, E, an even integer is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, T infinity. is an even integer. And we are told to us that this is an operation. And they are now telling us that if, for example, we select from this even integer, we say it A, is equal to 2 and b is equal to 4. So therefore, in selecting from this operation, we now say a operation uh, b can be 2 operation 4. So, and we, are, we have been given the a operation b to be a plus b. So we now have 2 operation 4 will give us 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6. So, meaning that 2 operation 4 is equal to 6. And 6 is an even integer. So, if 6 is an even integer, it's telling us that 6 is an element of e let's also try to choose six and ten six and eight six operation eight we give us six plus eight which is equal to 14 and 14 is an even integer so it's telling us that adding even and even number together adding two even number together will surely give us an even number. Therefore, the question says that is E closed under the operation? So our final answer is E is closed under the operation. This operation which define that A operation B is equal to A plus B. So this is the meaning. So 
this is now the meaning of uh, uh, of how to determine maybe it is uh, close or not. So therefore, it is close. So let's try to have this question as classwork. So since it is close, so let's try to do this classwork. Uh, he said, suppose D is equal to the and hard integers and X and, and this operation is defined on D such that for every A, B element of D and recall, D is an hard integer. So A operation B is equal to A plus B. So the question now says that is D close under the operation? So please don't forget to, you must do this classwork to know maybe you really follow us in this uh, class. And also, don't also forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video. And so we continue. It is what you determine, it is what you write next. We make it to know that you are following us in our, our playlist in the YouTube. So thanks for watching this video and stay with us in this class.